Write the vector v as a column vector, find the magnitude of the vector v, and find the angle of vector v makes with the horizontal. So, this is the vector v, all we know that it goes along 3 and up 4. Okay, so vector v, now when you're writing down um, uh, vectors, in textbooks they are either bold print or they have letters either side of them, as you'll see in the next example. Now you will have to put a sort of a line underneath the vector to indicate that it is a vector. So vector v goes three along, so you draw, make a sort of matrix, three along and four up. And therefore this has now been written as a column vector. To find the magnitude of the vector, what we are trying to find is the length of the uh, vector here, what size is this vector. So the magnitude of the vector is its length, so we can use a Pythagoras theorem, and then therefore the magnitude, and this is the notation, we have two straight lines with the vector in between, so the notation for magnitude, so it's going to be equal to the square root of 3 squared plus 4 squared, and that's the square root of 25, and the square root of 25 is 5 units. This number won't always come out to be an exact number. Right, to find the angle that the vector v makes with the horizontal, is good. we need to find the angle alpha. So, the required angle is going to be alpha, and we can find alpha using a bit of trigonometry. This is opposite, this is the adjacent, and therefore tan alpha is opposite over adjacent, opposite over adjacent. So tan alpha is going to be 4 over 3, 4 over 3, and therefore alpha will be the tan to the minus 1 of 4 over 3. We can do this on our calculator, make sure our calculator is in degree mode, and that's going to give an answer of 53.1 degrees. So this has been a video to show you how to find a right vector as a column vector, find the magnitude, i.e. its length, and the angle effect to make with the horizontal. I hope you've understood. And I thank you very much for watching.